react to 3D animation. I'm going to go over just a couple of quick things. Uh, first, how to import one Maya file into another, particularly ones that have animations, and just see how that works and some of the complications that can arise. So this is my animation from um, earlier that had uh, from an earlier lesson that has um, a sound mash component in it, and um, as you can see, I've got this little animating, reverberating kind of sound spectrum and I'm going to bring in this bouncing ball uh, animation that I have as well. So all you have to do to bring one Maya file into another is import it. So if I go to file and import and I go look through my folders here and if I go, sorry I gotta go find it real quick I thought it was loaded up but um, here we go and I'm gonna bring in this little squash and stretch animation and import You'll notice if I pan around here, there's my little bouncing ball. And when I clicked on it, you can see my animation is actually still in there. I'm going to go ahead and give this a, a little infinity loop. So hold on, let me grab all my keyframes for that just so that it stays with. I showed you guys this in a earlier one, but I'm going to give it a post infinity and I'm going to give it an oscillate cycle so it bounces back and forth. And now if I watch this animation, There we go. Now, it doesn't look like my original animation had a checker pattern. The only reason we're not seeing that is because I didn't have hardware texturing turned on. So now if I go there, we can see the hardware texturing happening. So the only complications is um, are, I should say, is that now I have two sky domes because both of those had a sky dome in it. So I'll get rid of the one sky dome. I only need one sky dome. Um, it looks like I have two default light sets now and two audio tracks because I think I had an audio track in the other one as well. So, you know, you might want to strip out some of that before you bring it in. And the other big complication, I don't have it in this file, but if you use any photo based textures that are loading externally, you're going to end up having to reload those into the new file because they're just not part of your file hierarchy yet. So if you have some textures missing, just go into those textures and just reload whatever uh, photo based textures you had in there, anything like that. Um, or if the other track, the other file had an audio track, obviously you're going to have to reload it into this one to be able to hear it live. Um, but yeah, it's that simple. Now I could render this out and have a pretty cool animation with the two of them in it. If I go and just render a single still, you'll see it renders out and there's my little bouncing checker ball there at the bottom. You know, it's important to get your scales correct. Like if I wanted that ball bigger, obviously it needed to be bigger before I started animating it. I, I recommend that you just merge your files 3D modeling wise before you start animating, just because there are a lot of complications that can arise interaction wise. In this case, it worked out pretty well. Uh, or at least set a scale with like an environment that you're both going to use and then model from there and then merge them and start to animate them. Um, or just, you know, render out separate scenes. It's up to you how you want to move forward. But I wanted to go over that process again because it's pretty simple for importing one Maya file into another. All right. And I'm just going to save this as like Maya sound ball mix. Save that to my desktop. All right, cool. So now let's talk about After Effects. So I've already saved out on my desktop here a couple of image sequences. I actually saved the the bouncing ball separately. They're actually in here. Let me go ahead on and grab them. Just move them into there so they're easy to find. And I have my uh, mash sound animation as well. Around, I think this one's I have 136 frames. The other one I only have about 70 frames. But that's okay. We're going to bring them both into After Effects. So I'm going to go ahead and load up Adobe After Effects. And this is probably the way most of you are going to merge your team projects together. If you're kind of taking two different scenes, you're going to wait till you bring them in here. But I wanted to go over this because... It's also bringing in that audio track that matched up with the audio visualizer. Obviously, an image sequence isn't going to export an audio file, so you've got to bring it all together inside of After Effects. So let's create a new composition. We're going to do a 1920 by 1080. 11 minutes is way longer than I need. I think I need like one minute. So I'm going to do that. All right, cool. So first thing I'm going to do is just kind of import these image sequences. So I'm going to go to File, Import. Let's go to my desktop, squash and stretch first. You can see 
option for a TIFF sequence. I want that. I'm not going to create a composition. I'm just going to bring it in as a TIFF sequence. Editable layer styles. Sure. Let's see what that looks like. Well, that's interesting. It didn't bring it in. Let me try that again. File import file. Huh. Not sure what's happening here. Let me try it again. Maybe it's just merge all layer, layer styles. Let's bring it in as footage instead. There we go. Sorry about that. So here's my, there is, a, it did make a composition, but here's the actual image sequence. And then we'll import the next one. Let me go back out. Mash sound animation. There we go. I don't want to create the composition this time. We'll just do the TIFF sequence. And I just had it as composition. Make sure you do it as footage. That's why it was having some problems. Okay, cool. There's my mash sound. So I don't really need the squash and stretch comp. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, nope. Sorry. Wrong one. I guess we'll just keep that for right now. So here we go. There's my squash and stretch. It's been added. Uh, let's go to comp one again and just bring them down. So first off, let's do the mash sound, right? So I'm going to bring that in. And obviously right now I don't have anything, so there's no sound with it or anything like that. So I think an important first step here is also to bring in my sound file. So I'm going to go find that original WAV file that I had, which is on my desktop. And there it is. All right, so let's bring that down so they at least match up to start. And now, if I do a little preview of that, I actually should get some audio here. Yep. Sorry, when it previews, it takes a second there. It's slowing down. And I'm just going to save this real quick. There we go. Pretty good. And now um, that I have that track in with my matched up audio, you know, now I could bring in my other sequence as well, which is my squash and stretch. And so I could have it then cut. And I could go a little back and forth if I wanted to. I could come up here and bring this in again and then bring this in again and keep alternating back and forth with the audio and the rhythm there. That's about 14 seconds worth of footage. I think in total we're looking at 20 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and change my composition just so I don't go a full minute there on my previews. All right, let's give that a listen. Sorry, when, when, when After Effects does the previews, it kind of slows down the audio sometimes. At least the first run through does. I'm actually not sure why it's previewing the whole thing. It should only be previewing up to where I have the boundary here. But for some reason, it's, it's caching the whole thing right now. I'm going to turn on cache before playback. Let's see if it starts over. There we go. Yeah, it's not playing back in real time. And that's just my After Effects being a little weird. So, um, but otherwise, I can start to cut and edit here and have a lot of fun. You know, I can, these two aren't really on backgrounds with alpha channels, so it's not going to be as easy to like merge one on top of the other. And they're obviously different camera views as well. But depending on what you want to do, you can bring your pieces together and start to edit it all together with your final audio track merged here in After Effects. So I hope that helps you just think about how you're going to bring your team project together, these separate files, whether you're going to try to merge your Maya modeling files and then animate it all out. And each of you kind of like take on a different camera view and merge it. 
it with your merged models, or maybe some of you modeled and then the other person's animating and then you're bringing them back together in After Effects. There's a lot of different ways you can do your team production work, but I wanted to make sure you're at least clear on how to merge one Maya into the other and then how to bring anything that you had synced to audio in Maya back into After Effects, resync it again, and then be able to edit from there. All right. Short and sweet lesson for today. Good luck on your project to completion for Monday. Oh, I'm sorry, for yeah, for Monday night. And please do reach out if you get stuck anywhere along the way or if you need any help. All right, have a good rest of your week and weekend.